In this video, I'm going to give my honest thoughts, feelings and opinions on Apex Legends Control that has been available now in two seasons of Apex, being introduced in the last season if I remember correctly, and having quite a strong showing here in the current season. I wanted to cover this mode because, well, I've covered every other mode in some shape or form. Whether it be a gameplay of me winning five in a row on the winter event, or doing the reviews on the arenas when that first came out, or just reviewing Apex in general. I also wanted this video to double up as somewhat of a talking about the future of Apex, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it, so please comment down below. I want to get your feedback on whether you like new modes being introduced to this game, and talk about whether or not you actually like the changes made to Battle Royale, in a sense of the players can get a purple shield without even needing to fight anyone, because the amount of AI events now scattered around the map with the spiders, the prowlers and artillery. The reason why I want to bring this up in the video is because there seems to be a lot of changes happening under the surface of Apex Legends, and I am intrigued to see where it's gonna go. I feel like they're moving slowly to a new direction, and some might find that bad because it pulls away from the roots of Apex, but innovation and evolution isn't necessarily a bad thing for a game that has been going for this long. Not to mention there are a lot of changes to ranked as well, although I'm not really that bothered when it comes to ranked because I don't play it that much, or if I do, I'm not really invested in it. But I personally do like the changes that they made. Going for position over kills is a great way to earn RP in the current ranked meta, which does in fact encourage teamwork. But we all know that the solo experience within Apex Legends isn't always the best. That's why they need to bring back one player battle royale. That would be pretty awesome. But anyway, let's move on now to the gameplay and the mode that you have been watching. This is Control. This is a casual game mode of 9 versus 9, making 18 players in total on a map with three trio squads to make up that nine of one side. And the trio is also serving the purpose of having some character diversity, so one team doesn't end up with like nine octanes on a team. Because well, that would just be bizarre, and pfft, who even mains octane anyway? Wait, what was that? 90% of my footage is octane? Don't know what you're talking about. I'll have you know that I don't main octane, octane mains me. Anyway, this game mode plays out like a game of domination. If you're familiar with any other popular FPS, then you probably already understand the concept of domination. There are three capture points, A, B and C. Players must control those points, they can lock out the other team if they get all of them. If an enemy team already controls a point, opposing forces must neutralise the point and then take it over. Pretty simple stuff, easy concept to wrap your head around. Unlike the Battle Royale or Arenas, this time around, you don't get ground loot, you don't buy your guns at the start of the round, instead there are set loadouts, my favourite is when I get the flatline or the R301, because I personally like to play close to mid range. As the match progresses, there are capture bonuses for holding a point. This is in the form of care packages where you can get the care package guns and also better armour. Over the duration of the match, the more points that you actually gain will also upgrade your guns and your attachments to your standard loadout, ranging from blue attachments all the way up to gold. So the more you help out your team, the better your attachments are going to be, and I like the fact that there is a little bit of a reward there. This mode is fast and full of action, when you die you can just respawn pretty much immediately, there isn't much downtime, and overall I think it's some good casual fun. I do like the locations that they also picked in order to do this mode, however I was a little bit upset that they didn't include King Kings Canyon this time around, because Kings Canyon is my favourite map of them all. Although I might be a little bit biased in that, because well that's the map that I dropped to 20 bomb on. In Battle Royale, not this mode, if you play this mode enough for enough hours, you will get a 20 bomb eventually on it. I wouldn't say it's the hardest thing to do, even for average players. However, saying that, sometimes the matchmaking in this mode can be a little bit dodgy. For instance,
instance, if you're putting down decent damage every game, and especially if you win multiple games in a row, you might find a match where you go up against Masters and Predators, and have a team where the next best player to you is probably a Platinum. This is pretty weird because I thought it was meant to be all skill levels, but I'm guessing there are some matchmaking criterias in there, but I can let that go. My best advice to you is that you just don't need to take this mode so seriously, because it doesn't record any stats of any nature. This is why in the gameplay I'm being super casual, rocking the controller, and just having fun with it, because this mode can actually be really fun. Like I said, it's fast and you're always in the action. A lot of the gunfights are in my Goldilocks zone, that mid to close range. In general, I really like Apex's, well, gunplay and the movement mechanics. This mode is really good for training against multiple moving targets, or warming up your aim before going into ranked. Overall, I had a really good time with it. Let me know what you think of this mode control down in the comments. Smash the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Get subscribed to the channel if you are new. I will be back to make more content for the channel shortly, so stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching.